And this is Matrix. We go into highcentralmls.com, type in your login number and your password. Password. And as you can see at the bottom here, you can actually change your password, or if you forgot your password, uh, you can retrieve it here. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And we're going to come to the dashboard. This is what we call the matrix dashboard. In the upper left, we have the icons to get us to certain programs like RPR, showing time, RLS, zip forms, and so forth, and Century Key. We also have, you can download these apps, uh, mobile apps for your phone, and you can also follow us on social media. To the right side, we have our sponsor, Box Brownie. They actually can edit photos. Uh, below that, we you can connect to eSupport uh, via the web. You can update your HBR profile, look at documents and forms that we have for you, and access the market stats. And if we have news, it'll actually be here, and also the upcoming training schedule. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the matrix icon for the MLS. And this is the home screen. Okay, these are widgets, they're movable and also collapsible. Okay, if you click on the X, they do not delete, they just go under the additional, so you can just drag them back out. Okay, so most of the time you'll be on the search. We have residential, which is single family, condos, and uh, rentals. We have vacant land, multifamily, commercial, cross property, which is all property types. So as you can see, you can search uh, single family, condo, vacant land, all at the same time. However, the majority of the time you will spend under the search, residential quick or residential detail. So this is residential quick. As you can see, we have some of the boxes here, which is what we call feature groups. We group the similar things together like frontage and so forth. Uh, let's go to residential detail. As you can see, same thing. It has a uh, similar amount of uh, fields in addition to more of these boxes or feature groups. So we have something like lot features, utilities, zoning, and so forth. Now you can use either one uh, because residential did combine the three categories together, single family, condos, and rentals. So you can use either one. Okay, so here I have the statuses on the left. Active escrow showing. Escrow, in escrow not showing, so temporary withdrawn, withdrawn, and expired. So temporary withdrawn, you're still active, but you're not actively showing uh, the listing or accepting offers. Whereas withdrawn, as in terms of the MLS, uh, it's withdrawn or canceled, the listing agreement. Oh, okay, the dates, you can put in the number of days, or you can do by the calendar icon, or you can just type in the date. As an example, 1-1-1991 one dash one dash plus. Okay, so our database goes all the way back to 1991. Okay, so let me... TMK search. You can type in the TMK numbers all the way down to the CPR number or type in the TMK area. And if you're not sure what that is, you can always click on the question mark and we have a help screen for you. So it's the first three numbers on a TMK. Okay. So let's, at this point, let's go to links and we're gonna go to the neighborhood list. Click on the neighborhood list under links. Let me save that and it'll open. There we go. Let me scroll this down, make this bigger. Let me hide this real quick. There we go. And we have a list here of all of the neighborhoods on the island of Oahu. 
Okay, let's get back to the search screen. Residential quick. And we can type in 111-129. Or we could have done the region of Metro. Either one would have worked. Okay, so if we scroll down here, we see we have 3,000, uh, over 3,000 listings. I'm gonna go one bedrooms. And the price range of 500 to 550. So as you see, the number has gone down to 66. So let's say I only want fee simple listings, and it still remains at 66. So click on results, and this is your list. Okay, so it's separated by status, active for green, and so forth. Next page. And sold. Solds are in red. Okay. So go ahead and select your listings that you want to print or email. Go to the very bottom. This is called your button bar. In this button bar, you can email and print basically. Uh, refine, you can actually narrow, discard, and sort. Uh, the next one is that you can uh, save your search or create an auto email, and that's another video. And the last one is carts. You can actually save any listing to a cart or like a shopping cart. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I selected three. I'm going to click email. Type in my email address, type in my subject letter, uh, subject line, and also my message, and hit send. Okay, I'm going to back up here and also do a print real quick. I'm going to click on, I have the three selected, click print. And I get to go ahead and select the different types of reports that I can print out. So you can do multiple comparative in addition to, uh, let's see, client full. And I go ahead and email the PDF or I can print the PDF. And if I printed the PDF, which you can actually email uh, later on if you choose to. So while it's generating, you can again email the PDF, print it, print it out. Okay. So this is what it looks like on the very top. You're gonna see the, let me make this smaller. The very top, you see what we call a client full. And the way we know it's a client full is right here in the middle or towards the top, you would see, you see the listing office name. You don't see the listings agent name or phone numbers, just the office name to give them credit because it's their listing. Okay, and go to the very bottom and you're gonna see a summary, which is what we call the CMA.